Hello everybody, welcome back to Mark's Beer Reviews. Today we have got a beer that you wouldn't have had unless you've eaten in Pizza Express, <laughs> which is weird. It is um, a Pizza Express, a meantime collaboration brew, I suppose you would call it, or a beer that's been brewed for the Pizza Express restaurants. It is called Pizza Pal or Pizza Pale. Um, <laughs> It's weird. Um, my friends, um, Liam and Tash at the Absolute Legends, um, they were in Pizza Express and they know that I do the YouTube channel. And they were like, Mark, have you seen this beer? I was like, no. Is it, ha is it a pale ale with pizza in it? Because a pizza pale tells you that. Um, I regret to inform you, it's not. It's um, a pale ale that's been brewed by Pizza Express, uh, by, sorry, by Meantime, before Pizza Express, um, for their restaurants, basically. Now, obviously I asked Liam and Tash, I said, look, as part of my videos, I include and we kind of break down, sometimes if it needs it, the pricing behind the beer. I said, can you remember how much you paid for it? They were like, no, sorry, we can't. Well, so I was like, right, before I've, before I've done this video, before I started filming, about five minutes ago, um, I went on the internet and I found, I went to my, they kind of had, to get the menu up, you have to put in your location. So I put in my location, my nearest pizza restaurant, uh, Pizza Express restaurant was Norwich. Hit Norwich, went on the beer menu. This 330 can of beer was is priced. Have a guess. Have a guess, like have a guess. How much would that be? Three, two, three, two, one. Four pound sixty. <laughs> Four pound sixty for this. Um <laughs> Don't know. Um, it better be good for that money. That's all I can say. I know in a restaurant, obviously, you pay for um, service and things like that, but you do in a bar as well. Um, I don't know. All I just know is, all I all I know is this this beer was there in black and white, four pound sixty. Um, yeah, I don't know. Weird. Meantime, then, obviously, they are from Greenwich. Um, a lot of my friends, including Liam, who got me this beer, um, I'm part of a friendship group. Um, and they done the meantime uh, brewery tour. They said it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And then they went out for a Christmas party drinks thing that I unfortunately had to miss out of because I moved into this house uh, a few years ago. So anyway, enough of that boring stuff. Apparently, they're, yeah, they're <laughs> mainly their brewery tour is really good. Meantime beers, I don't have a problem with them. I think, <laughs> apart from this one, um, they're normally very well priced and the beer is pretty, pretty decent for the money. Um, are they bottle shop standard? Probably not for me. Um, having said that, I've only had their supermarket stuff, so I don't know a whole lot about Meantime other than they're in Greenwich, their brewery tour's really good, and their beers are pretty decent for supermarket standards. Um, when I... I have to say, I did have a look at the... I looked at the front of the can, so I haven't seen the back. Um, I just looked at that, what you've seen there, and I did get a little bit excited because it's a West Coast... It's described as a West Coast Pale with Centennial, Chinook, Simcoe, and Citra Hops. There you go. Can you see that at the bottom? So yeah, that got me quite excited. A hoppy West Coast Pale Ale, probably one of my favourite styles of beer. I am excited, <laughs> apart from the um, £4.60 price tag. But hey, let's get this can open then. Boom. Bit of smoke on the can opening. Let's get the beer into the glass. Boom, there you go, right. So what have we got then? We've got a one finger white head, great levels of carbonation hugging the glass. Um, it's a sort of a light amber color beer, I'd say. Crystal clear, absolutely no sediment in there at all. Um, let's get the aroma. I'm hoping this is good for £4.60. Meantime, Pizza Express, don't let me down. Citrus, moderately hoppy. Crisp malts. It smells all right. It smells pretty good. Uh, £4.60 good? Don't know. Let's see. <laughs> um, I'm holding this beer to the £4.60 price there, by the way, up solidly, because this is probably a good two quid, probably double the price of one of their normal cans. Um, so, yeah, who knows? Right, let's go in for, a, for another snifter. Yeah, multi, moderately hoppy, citrus. 
Let's go in for a taste. Cheers, everybody. Oh, my God. That is as basic a that is as basic a beer as you're going to get. I think it's not hor oh nice bit of bitterness at the back actually. Light carbonation, bready malt maybe. It's very hard. This basically this <laughs> this beer is probably two steps above water. This is really really weak tasting beer. Um, Really, really weak tasting beer. <laughs> yeah, this is just um, really, really poor. Um, as a slight bit, slight bitterness, bread, bit of bready malt. Slight lemon, lemony citrus flavour. And then it goes bitter. It's not a lingering bitterness. It's actually, the bitterness actually is quite nice. The problem is what goes before it. Um, Jesus Christ. I'm really struggling to get anything out of this at all. That is just really, really, really poor. Um, it's almost like a, it's almost a lager really. You get the maltiness. There's a slight bit of bitterness at the back end. There's just not enough hoppiness in there. I don't know if they can call this a pail. That's just rubbish. Oh. I'll tell you what, if you're if you're eating one of them spite what's what's the pizza I have in? Is it called the American Hot? Do they do in Pizza Express? Do they do a pizza called an American Hot? It's got the chilies and pepperoni and that on it. If you're Well, Pizza Express, right? Let's strip it back. What is available in Pizza Express? Is Peroni or this? Buy Peroni. Straight off the bat, straight away. Um, if you're drink, if you're eat, if you're eating a spicy pizza, um, where you can't really taste too much, that will probably suit you. It's 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 moderately refreshing. You can probably tell it hasn't been. Well, I can tell. Well, I say I can tell. My my feelings are that it that obviously um, my feeling would be it is a beer that's been designed from the ground up to. Um, be easy drinking, smash four or five of them in a restaurant over a pizza because it's so easy drinking. You do, but I didn't get the ABV, it's 4%. Um, it's very watery. Um, the ironic thing, it says drink far, drink fresh because hops fade fast. This goes out of date in, <laughs> this is pretty fresh beer. It goes out of date in, goes out of date in November. <laughs> so it's not like I'm drinking this beer past its date. Um, Meantime and Pizza Express, that's not very good. I'm sorry, guys. Um, for the beer drinkers out there, I wouldn't get excited if you go into Pizza Express and see this on the menu, thinking it's a good alternative to Peroni, because it's absolutely not. Um, the can design's cool. I will give it that. You've got the kind of cheesy pepperoni pizza vibe on there. Um, I don't know. Let's have a little look. Um, pizza, beer, name a better duo. We'll wait. Robson and Jerome. Um, Crouchy and Owen. <laughs> um, uh, as you ponder that thought and the impossibility that anything could be better than your favourite pizza twinned with its new best beer pal, know that this pale ale has been specially brewed in collaboration with our pals at Pizza Express. Part West Coast IPA, part pale ale. <laughs> Whatever. Um, we've twinned classic US hops with fruity citra and centennial for a beer that's an awesome support act for any scrumptious toppings. I would agree with that. I think 
I think this beer, if you want something carbonated, malty, fresh, a, a, a dinner, a dinner beer, a dinner beer, it's almost like, it's almost got that kind of table, you know like table pails, they're normally about 2.5%, 2.7%, um, that's kind of, if, if you've drunk a table pale, obviously it's a really, really dumbed down pale ale, it's not as hoppy, it's not as malty, it's very watery, that's what this is, um, obviously a table pale is, I presume from the name, oh, I've always thought of the name as like a, a beer, a beer, a, di a dinner beer, a beer for the table, um, a beer for the dinner table. That's what this is. This is not. I don't think this beer was des was designed for people like me to drink it and for people like you to drink it. If you're into your craft beers, this beer is literally um, someone that goes into Pizza Express that's dr sick of drinking Peroni that wants something slightly different and. Um, yeah, but I would stick with your Peroni. Peroni's going to be a better option than this, although they can get a bit heavy, Peroni, so I think that might be where this comes in. Right, everybody, um, I don't know how to rate this. Um, it's not hot. There was no... What I will say about it, it wasn't a horrible beer. It just wasn't a good beer. Um, and for that reason, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5. Um, it doesn't deserve any more than that. doesn't deserve any less. I'm not going to slate it, up, slate it too much. What I will slate it on is the price. Um, Pizza Express, um, £4.60. Bordering on robbery, really. That's quite bad. Um, but I understand it uh, to a certain degree. Right, everybody. Thanks very much for watching. Um, don't buy this, buy a Peroni. <laughs> and I'll see you on the next one. If you've had this beer, get in the comments. Let me know what you thought of it. I think if I'd have gone to Pizza Express, because one thing I will say about Pizza Express is their pizzas are absolutely banging. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Probably a bit of the Rona left over. <coughs> dear, oh dear. Um, their pizzas are pretty banging. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This just isn't. Really, really disappointed. But yeah, let, let me know in the comments if you've had this beer. Um, did it live up to the hype for you? Obviously, it's all subjective. Um, what I like isn't always what you like and vice versa um, and hit that like button <coughs> hit the like button on the video it sends it out to more people it drops up in if you the more you like it the more it drops in people's like suggested boxes and stuff which I appreciate and hit the subscribe button if you haven't guys um, if we aren't there already because obviously I pre-record these videos uh, we're on our way to 300 which I can only thank you so much for it's insane I just uh, have this level of follow <laughs> following and support from all you guys um, an encouragement, it means the world to me. Right, everyone, I'll leave it there. Closing statement, don't buy this, buy a Peroni. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Cheers.